Hey guys, uh, welcome back to Nature's Cadence Farm. We're uh, we're on location at the farm today, and uh, we're going to be putting in a replacement window for the mobile home. Um, now this is our little bathroom window, and um, the old one was broken, and uh, you know it was missing all of the glass. So I had paid taken it out and put a piece of plywood up temporarily but um let's see uh what we're working with here so let's take a look all right so as you can see we've gotten the old window out and i've placed this product on here it's called putty tape uh it's this this tape that you can see here and uh this is what it looks like. It comes in a roll and it has this putty and this paper on the back side and once you stick it on the, uh, it's not super sticky but a little bit, but once you put it on the the window frame there, you uh, take the paper off and uh, then it's ready to go. So that goes behind our new window. Uh, so here it is. I ordered this from our local mobile home dealer uh well parts dealer i just looked up mobile homes in the phone book and and there it was and the putty tape also comes from the mobile home parts supplier so uh let's see if we can get this thing in there and get it going all right so i've got the uh putty tape on and uh, it's stuck real good and I've got my new window here so let's the main thing is when you're measuring these windows if you do measure one is the dimensions from here to here and then from here to here so not the outside dimensions but the actual frame dimensions of what hole it fits in um, that's the main thing so you can see the window fits in that hole very nicely and then around the edge here the uh, screws go in the outside of it and I'm going to use um, a quarter inch head and it has a washer on it it's made for like roofing um, but uh, a quarter inch nut driver will fit that just fine so here's what one of those screws looks like uh, it has a a little rubber washer on it there and on the back side it has a, a metal washer so the head of the screw doesn't smash the rubber out it kinda is a double double washer going on there and then it has this nice uh, nice sharp tip so it can get into the uh, metal and make its new hole <coughs> and um, I also like using these um, these nut drivers here it's a um, it's a quarter inch magnetic drive uh, uh, six inch driver uh, I think it really gives the uh, the impact a nice a nice uh, you know feel so when you have the screw it's not you know right up on it or anything it's actually out here so you can just hold it and and uh, and make your make your screw go in but I just wanted to show you real quick what I what I used for the hardware and tools. All right, guys. Well, I've got a few of the screws in there. I ran out of screws. I'm not sure what happened to the ones I took out of there. I don't know, but that's okay. I'll swing by the hardware store and pick up some more. Um, I saved one so I can can match it up to the uh, to the original ones and um, and get that going. But anyways, uh, thanks for watching and uh, hope you enjoyed it. And we will see you next time. <laughs>